At Baby Trend, we think babies are pretty wonderful, and it's our goal to provide them with the safest and the most reliable products available at an affordable price. That's why we designed the FlexLock Infant Car Seat, a top-rated infant car seat. The FlexLock Infant Car Seat is designed to securely cradle any baby from 5 to 30 pounds. And as your baby grows, the car seat's height adjustable seat back means you'll never have to re-thread the harness. For ease of use and to assure your baby's comfort and safety, the advanced harness design adjusts with one touch push button release that locks firmly into place. The FlexLock Infant Car Seat offers a spectrum of different color combinations to perfectly match your car's interior. The seat base features a four position push button angle adjustment for proper installation in any vehicle. You can release the seat from the base with just one hand. The FlexLock Infant Car Seat utilizes top quality construction, soft yet durable fabrics, and EPS energy absorbing foam for superior head impact protection. Select models also come with a cold weather boot to keep your baby warm in and out of the car. Because Baby Trend recognizes the importance of proper installation and use of the car seat in keeping your baby safe, they now offer the Video Instruction Guide, or VIG. The VIG will guide you through the entire process, from installing the base to safely cradling your baby, step by step and from beginning to end. This is important information. This is for your baby's comfort and safety. So let's get started. Welcome to the Baby Trend Flex Lock Infant Car Seat Video Instruction Guide, or VIG. We are going to show you how to set up and use this product. This VIG shows you all the different aspects of your Flex Lock Infant Car Seat and an easy to follow step by step process for installing and using it properly. Please note, this infant car seat is designed for children weighing between 5 and 30 pounds and who are 30 inches or less in height. Also, you should read the entire user's manual and the owner's manual for the vehicle in which you'll be installing the seat before you get started to fully understand the installation process and how to use the seat. If someone else will be installing the seat for you, make sure that they thoroughly read and understand the seat and vehicle manuals before installing and using the seat. The FlexLock Invent Car Seat comes in two versions, one with an adjustable back and one with a fixed back. Both versions are very similar, and these instructions apply to both. Your FlexLock Infant Car Seat includes a moving seat back, if so equipped, a seat pad, two harness straps, a harness clip, locking clip, a strap buckle, a harness adjuster strap with harness adjuster button, a carry handle, a canopy, a handle release button, and a vehicle belt path hook. On the back of the seat, you'll find an adjuster knob for the moving seat back, a seat angle indicator, a belt adjuster plate, and a base stroller hook. The base of your FlexLock infant car seat includes attachment locks, a belt path for vehicle seat belt installation, a foot adjustment lock button, latch attachment hooks, latch attachment connectors, latch attachment hook release buttons, and webbing release buttons. In the next segment, we'll show you how to select the best location in your vehicle to place the seat and how the seat belt system compares to the latch system. Welcome to the Choosing a Seat Location segment for your FlexLock Infant Car Seat. In this VIG, you'll learn how to determine the best spot in your vehicle to position your seat. Statistics show that children are safer in the rear seating positions than the front seating positions. Our recommendation for the safest location is to use the rear center seat. Whenever possible, an adult should ride next to the child in order to monitor the child. If the driver is the only adult and the child requires constant monitoring, the FlexLock Infant Car Seat can be mounted in the front right passenger seat only if the passenger front airbag has been deactivated. Consult the vehicle's owner's manual to determine if the passenger front airbag can be deactivated. Not every location in your vehicle may be safe for placing the seat. In fact, some vehicles have no seating position that is safe for installing an infant seat. See the owner's manual for information on types of vehicle seat belts that are not suitable for this product. And if you are uncertain about the proper location, contact your vehicle's manufacturer for more information before you install and use the seat. 
You can also call Baby Trent at 1-800-328-7363 during regular business hours for additional information. There are four types of seat belts safe to use with your FlexLock infant car seat. A lap belt that is manually adjusted and will remain tight while your vehicle is in motion. A lap belt that cannot be lengthened once it is fastened. A lap shoulder belt with a latch plate that locks the belt into position and a lap shoulder belt with a latch plate that can slide freely if the belt includes a lockable retractor. Since September 2002, all new cars, minivans, and light trucks have included at least two second row seating positions with the lower anchors and tethers for children restraint systems, also known as latch. Latch makes it easier to install child safety seats without using a vehicle's seat belt system. Please note, Latch anchors are not applicable to the middle seating position prior to 2007. Refer to your vehicle's owner's manual for additional information about your seat belt systems. Next up, we'll introduce you to the features of your FlexLock infant car seat. Welcome! This segment will show you how to use various features on your FlexLock infant car seat. To release the seat from its base, Simply squeeze the base release handle located below the foot end of the seat. To attach the seat to its base, align the seat with the base and press it down firmly until the seat latches click into position. Check that both sides of the seat are securely attached to the base. Your FlexLock infant car seat comes with a 5-point harness strap system. To safely and comfortably secure your child into the seat, a harness chest clip holds the straps in the proper position across your child's upper torso. The crotch strap is adjustable in length to ensure a safe and comfortable fit for the harness strap assembly and to hold your child safely in place. The seat angle indicator is used to make sure that the seat is installed at the proper reclining angle to protect your child in the event of a crash. The seat angle adjuster located at the foot of the base raises and lowers the rear of the base to obtain the proper recline angle of the seat when the two are used together. The locking clip, which is stored under the pad on the right side of the seat, is used to securely install the seat with certain types of lap shoulder combination belts. The carry handle can be used in three different positions. The upright carry position, a mid storage position, and the non-rocking position. And finally, you can attach the canopy by slipping the canopy stays through the sleeves of the canopy. Then, insert the ends of the canopy stays into the female fittings located on the inside of each handle hub, as shown, until they snap into place. In the next segment, we'll show you how to adjust the harness straps. Welcome! This segment will show you how to adjust the harness straps on your seat. It is important that you adjust the straps properly to ensure that your child is safely secured into the seat. There are three height adjustments for the harness shoulder straps. Adjust the straps to be even with or just below your child's shoulders. The adjustment back seat includes a sliding component that adjusts the height of the harness straps by turning a knob on the back of the seat. To adjust the straps, do the following. Remove the seat from its base and place it on a flat, firm surface. Next. Release the carry handle by squeezing the handle release buttons. Rotate the handle to the non-rocking position. Now place your child into the seat so that your child's bottom is all the way to the rear and bottom of the seat. The next step is to slide the harness straps over your child's shoulders. Locate the adjusting knob on the back of the seat. Turning the knob clockwise one half turn will raise the height of the straps one half inch while turning the knob counterclockwise one half turn will lower the height of the straps one half inch. Adjust the height of the harness straps until they are even with or just below your child's shoulders. The straps must not be located above the child's shoulders as they will not hold the child securely during a sharp turn, sudden stop, or collision. Make sure that the knob is in the vertical position when you are finished making the adjustments. If your seat is the fixed back version, you can raise or lower the straps by inserting them through one of the three height adjustment slots in the seat back. If needed, the included belt threading tool can support inserting the harness straps through the slots. See your owner's manual for complete instructions. Once the harness straps are positioned correctly, the next step will be to adjust the crotch strap for proper fit. 
The crotch strap length should be adjusted so that there is a gap of a half to a full inch between the ears of the buckle and the top of the child's thighs. Disregarding any clothing or diaper, your child will grow quickly, so always check that the buckle is at the proper height whenever placing your child in the seat. Do the following to adjust the crotch strap length. First, lift up on the crotch strap pad. You will see the crotch strap anchor clip riding in a slot in the car seat shell. Pull outward on the metal clip while feeding the crotch strap webbing downward until you can remove the metal clip from the slot. Do not attempt to remove the crotch strap from the seat. You can shorten the length of the crotch strap by wrapping excess webbing around the metal clip or lengthen the strap by unwrapping the webbing from around the clip. Once you've adjusted the strap to the desired length, reinsert the clip fully into the slot while pulling upward on the crotch strap buckle as shown. Now slide the crotch strap pad back into position. Keep watching and we'll demonstrate how to secure your child into the seat properly. Welcome! This segment will show you how to secure your child properly into the FlexLock infant car seat. In order for the seat to protect your child, the harness straps must be used properly even when using the seat as a carrier. In an earlier segment, we showed you how to adjust the harness and crotch straps to fit your child correctly. Now we'll show you how to strap your child into the seat. Start by dressing your child in clothing that will allow the harness straps to latch securely between your child's legs. And be sure that the straps are properly located on or just below your child's shoulders. With the seat on a firm and level surface, move the carry handle to the non-rocking position. Now loosen the harness straps by pushing on the harness adjuster button located below the seat pad just in front of the buckle while pulling on the straps. Unfasten the harness chest clips, unbuckle the harness straps, and drape the straps over the seat back. Now place your child into the seat so that the child's bottom is against the back and bottom of the seat. Do not leave any space between your child's back and the back of the seat. With your child properly positioned in the seat, Place the harness straps down over your child's shoulders, making sure that the straps are not twisted. Now fasten the harness chest clips together and position them so that they are level with your child's armpits. The harness is properly tightened if you are not able to insert more than one finger between the straps and your child's shoulders. The next step is to latch the harness straps to the seat buckle. If you have the type of harness strap shown here, overlay the left buckle tongue onto the right buckle tongue and insert the two joined buckle tongues into the buckle. Make sure that the tongues click into the buckle and check that both are firmly latched by pulling on them. If your seat features a second type of buckle tongue not shown, each harness strap will be connected to the buckle separately. Make sure that each clicks into the buckle and double check to make sure they are secure. Next, pull outward on the harness adjuster strap to snug the straps against your child's shoulders. Make sure that the straps are flat and tight. Next up, we'll show you how to correctly install the FlexLock infant car seat in your vehicle.